So I would answer an answer that would benefit myself, you Fuad, and every married couple, and every uh, singles who are planning to get married in the future, inshaAllah. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our so. best role model, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنَةٌ لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَ وَذَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا Which means, indeed, in the Messenger of Allah, for you, for those who follow Him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the best role model, is the best example to be followed. Uh, who would follow Him? Those who hope to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with good faith on the Day of Judgment. So our best role model, our instructor, our teacher, our prophet, our most beloved ever, said, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best of all of you are those who are good to their wives, to their family members, to their close family members, especially the wife. You can imagine that the Prophet ﷺ was lying down on his deathbed, and he was very concerned, and he repeated, he said, Istawsu bin nisa'i khayra. Be kind and good to your wives, to your women, to your mothers, to your children, to your daughters, your sisters. He emphasized the fact that one should be gentle and kind to a, a woman who is a family member, a woman who is number one, the wife, the daughter, the sister, and the mother, obviously. And I do not mean with that to be mean to other women, no. But if you should be kind, then you should be the kindest to your wife. Mm. So, if somebody would like to follow the practice of the Prophet wasallam, has to be good and kind to his wife. Wishing uh, each other a happy Ramadan or happy occasions or talking to each other is, is, is the basics. We're not talking about uh, praying together and going out together. We're talking about the basics, which is Communicating, especially the sister said that they have been married for 40 years. She also said that that now he's totally uh, uh, paying all the attention to his ibadah. Uh, maybe you can convey this message to him. By Allah, when I buy food and I take it home, and uh, we sit and we eat and I offer the food to my wife, that's ibadah. That's a, an act of worship. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. وَإِنَّ فِي بُضْعِ أَحَدِكُمْ صَدَقَةً First, he said, even the bite that you put in the mouth of your wife, it's an act that reflects passion and love and compassion and mercy, but it's an act of worship as well. Having an intimate relationship with one's spouse in Islam is an act of worship. When I say an act of worship, it means you will receive a reward for it. So you be rewarded for that. When you gather your family members and you feed your kids and your wife, when you buy a nice uh, outfit for your wife or aba or clothes, anything, new shoes, uh, you receive a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for spending on your family members. This is what our deen been teaching us. Some people limit the understanding of ibadah to uh, going out for da'wah, for days and abandoning the family. Uh, neglecting their basic needs uh, and the ibadah maybe only pray in day and night no the ibadah is to keep your relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the best level as well as your relationship especially with your family members than the rest of mankind as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said nasa hasan, and be well mannered with all people so uh, uh, kindly reminder and a friendly uh, advice that every one of us have to pay close attention to his family members and begin by them. Al aqrabuna awla bil ma'roof. Your relatives are more worthy with your kindness than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Once you suffice their needs, you can look after that if the case is as you presented it. Because maybe he will give us a call and we'll say, you know what, I keep my duty to my Lord, and meanwhile I keep my duty to my family. But they want more. I remember once uh, in a very interesting hadith, Ubaid ibn Umayr once visited uh, uh, Umm al-Mu'mineen Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha wa ardaha, and he said, what was the most amazing thing that you experienced with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa She said, the most amazing thing this one night that he wanted to get up and pray, he was lying down next to her. 
And she said, I love you and I love to be near to you. He said, but I love to worship my Lord as well. I mean, every wife would like to hang around with her beloved husband the entire night and for good. Some, some wives, are, are, you know, they ask their husbands not even to go to work. Stay for a little bit, hang around. So he said, uh, Let me worship. Worship what? It was a night prayer, tahajjud. So he said, she said, I love you so much and I love what you love. So she let him stand up in worship and the hadith is a lengthy hadith, but I just uh, wanted to refer to the catch in this hadith. Mm. So if the person is keeping balance, that's perfectly fine. But if he's lacking behind on either sides, you should try to uh, make it up, inshallah. Inshallah.